So today we're going to talk a bit about software. Yesterday I showed you the Muse 2, the four nodes, AF7, AF8, TP9 and 10, that are placed on the head at specific locations and read in the brain electrical data. Now what is it reading exactly? The brain is constantly talking. Constantly noisy. Constantly producing the full spectrum of brain waves. These brain waves are not discrete, they're continuous regions of a spectrum. Delta, theta, beta, alpha, and gamma, hash -tops always matter. So, during deep sleep, delta waves may be louder. They may have a bigger amplitude. Delta waves are actually the lowest frequency, largest amplitude waves compared to gamma waves, the highest frequency, smallest amplitude waves. But at any point at time, in any person, all these waves are being produced. What we're measuring in this experiment, case study, is the power spectral density or PSD of the waves. Another thing, a way to think of that would be something like the amplitude of the waves or a measure of how loud the waves are. So my hypothesis among others is that the loudness of the gamma waves will increase during and after ayahuasca. That's what we're here to find out. How does the software help this? So we're reading in electrical data everywhere. The brain is producing all these waves, constant, constant. It's not like one wave is going to one node and another wave is going to another node. That would make it way too easy. That's not how the brain works. Come on! That's not how it works. So we need to employ a little bit of fancy mathematics. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick maths. Using a little trick called the fast Fourier transform. What this does, in layman's terms, is take a whole bunch of waves that are overlapped on each other. So in other words, a noisy, wavy signal. And using some mathematical magic, the fast Fourier transform decomposes this noisy wave that's composed of all the waves into its constituent parts. So in our case, let's take one sensor node. We're getting all the different waves. I believe it's five of them. Five different types of waves we're getting from this. We take the fast Fourier transform and we know how much from each type of brainwave spectrum contributed to that overall signal. Then you do that across the four nodes and you have four times four. Five times four readings. For the real nerds out there, Love to the nerds. As I said, I fucking love science. Science very important. You can find more details in the accompanying case study blog article to this video.